Hey everybody. Today I want to talk about the difference between diffusion and osmosis. A lot of people seem to use the terms interchangeably, and while there are some similarities, there's a key fundamental difference between the process of osmosis and the process of diffusion. And osmosis generally refers to the processes happening uh, within an animal's body. It doesn't always have to, but it usually does refer to the internal processes within an animal. So today we're actually gonna describe the difference between between simple diffusion and then the process of osmosis. So starting with diffusion, diffusion is the means by which more dense dissolved solids move into less dense areas of water. So if you've got a tank of water and the water's still, we're not talking about any movement or circulation of the water, the water's still, and you've got a block of salt sitting in the bottom of the water, as that salt dissolves, the density of the salt will become very high right around that localized area. And that denser salt wants to move out into the water. And eventually the idea is will be an even distribution of salt all the way through the water. So there's no areas that are denser than others. It'll be this nice even distribution. And that's the process of diffusion. It's the, the molecules are moving through the water. The water itself is not going anywhere, but the end result is that an equilibrium is achieved. You've got this even distribution of salinity throughout the water, and that's the end result of the process of diffusion. Osmosis is very similar, except it involves a semi-permeable membrane that allows water to move through it, but not the dissolved solids. So when we're talking about osmosis, in the case of osmosis, it's the water that moves, not the dissolved solids. In diffusion, it's the dissolved solids that move through the water, but the water stays where it is. In diffusion, in osmosis, that can't happen because there's a barrier. There's some sort of membrane that prevents the salt from getting to the, where the less salty water is. So if you've got a membrane down the middle of that tank and you got salty water on one side and fresh water on the other, the process of diffusion would mean that the salt wants to move through the whole tank and fill that tank with an even amount of salt. But it can't do that because it's got this membrane in the way. So osmosis is where the fresh water will move through the membrane and again, we're trying to achieve that equilibrium. We're trying to get the same level of saltiness on both sides of that membrane. So more and more fresh water will move to the salty side in an attempt to make it less salty and be equal to this side. So depending on how much pressure you have available to push through that membrane, you will actually get a reduction of water on one side and an increase in water on the other as the osmotic pressure is actually pushing that fresh water through to the salt water side, you'll never really achieve the balance because obviously all the water would have to go through in order for it to, you know, basically mix it up so that it was evenly distributed. But that's the way the osmosis works. There's a membrane involved and it's the water that is moving through the membrane in an effort to equilibrate the salinity. That, that nature always wants to find that balance. Nature abhors a vacuum. So if you've got a bunch of salt on one side of the tank and no salt on the other, nature wants that salt to be evenly spread around. If there's nothing in the way, the salt will just move through the water. That's diffusion. It'll just diffuse out. Um, you think of a puff, puff of smoke in a, in a room with still air. After 15 minutes, you can smell that smoke in the whole room. It's just diffused out through the air. If there's a membrane there, and osmosis only involves water, not air, so it has to be water in order for it to be osmosis. Um, but if there's a membrane that's preventing the movement of that salt, then the water has to move through the membrane to balance out that salinity. And that's basically the fundamental difference between osmosis and diffusion. In diffusion, it's the dissolved solids that move through the water, trying to achieve that equilibrium. And then with osmosis, it's the water that moves through a semi-permeable membrane, again, in an attempt to achieve that equilibrium. So the same forces are at work, that same sort of nature trying to balance everything out is the same force that's causing them to do this. But it's that membrane that 
changes how it works. Either the, the dissolved solids move through the water or the water has to move through the membrane, one or the other. So that's my thoughts on the difference between diffusion and osmosis. If I missed anything or whatever, if you had some different ideas, I'd like to hear your comments down below. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.